Good day, students. My name is Awoleye Oluwatoyi, a biology teacher. The topic I will be discussing with you today is skeleton and supporting systems in animals. Skeleton and supporting systems in animals. Lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, students will be able to 1. Define skeleton 2. Recognize the three forms of skeletal materials 3. Describe the different types of skeleton with examples 4. Compare bone and cartilage and 5. Discuss the significance of skeleton to animals now let us enjoy the lesson together content definition of skeleton forms of skeletal materials types of skeleton bones of azial and appendicular skeleton biological significance of skeleton why questions and evaluation question what would animals including you look like as well as incapable of doing without the support of bones and cartilage response crawling standing walking sitting Flying and more life processes would not be possible. Good. The framework and the tissues that support an organism is known as tissue and supporting system. Definition of skeleton. Skeleton is the bony framework of the body which provides support shape and protection to the soft tissues and organs in animals forms of skeletal materials there are three main forms of skeletal materials namely chitin cartilage and bone chitin this is a tough light and flexible material that is a major component of the skeleton of arthropods. It is a carbohydrate freely permeable to water, consists of non-living materials, and is threatened by deposits of hardened proteins and minerals. Examples of organisms with this type of skeletal materials are mainly arthropods such as prawns, scorpions, crabs, and insects. Cartilage. It consists of living cells, that is chondroblasts, carbohydrates, and protein fibers. It is a tissue found in the skeletons of complex vertebrates. Examples of organisms with cartilages are shark, rails and mammals bone it is a tissue and major component of the vertebral skeleton it consists of living bone cells that is osteocytes protein fibers that is collagen and minerals mainly calcium phosphate and calcium carbonate examples of organisms with this type of skeletal are bony fishes, toads, lizards, snakes, birds, and mammals. As the embryo grows, cartilage tissues added into bone through the addition of minerals. This process is known as ossification. Question. Differentiate between bone and cartilage. Bone is made up of living and non-living cells, while cartilage is made up of mainly living cells. Bone it is made up of hard substances, 
cartilage it is made up of soft substances bone it is rigid and not flexible especially in adults cartilage it is flexible both in adults and young ones bone it cannot be replaced by cartilage cartilage it can easily be replaced by bone bone it is made up of mainly of mineral salt cartilage it is made up of mainly of it is not made up of mainly of mineral salt we we'll go on break and we'll be back shortly welcome back types of skeleton there are three main types of skeleton namely hydrostatic skeleton endoskeleton and exoskeleton hydrostatic skeleton this is the type of skeleton processed by soft bodied animals which uses its fluid pressure to provide support examples sea anemones heartworm snideria sea star exoskeleton it is found outside the body of some animals it is an external skeleton that consists of hard encasement on the surface of an organism examples are invertebrates such as snails insects crayfish crabs and so on endoskeleton it is an internal skeleton that is it is found inside the body of animals examples fishes toads lizards birds man and so on bones of mammalian skeleton all the bones in mammalian body are grouped into axial and a pedicular skeleton. Axial skeleton consists of skull, backbone or vertebral column, ribs, sternum or breast bone. The skull. It gives shape to the head and also protects the brain and vital organs in the head, such as eye, nose and ears. The vertebral column or backbone consists of cervical vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, lumbar vertebrae, sacral and caudal vertebrae. Cervical vertebra. It has a pair of openings known as vertebrarial canal through which the blood vessels of the neck pass location at the neck region the first cervical vertebra is called atlas it's not, it has no centrum with very large neural canal functions of atlas it permits nodding movement of the head the second bone is the axis which has a large centrum which projects as undotoid process function it permits the head to turn from side to side thoracic vertebra it has large centrum large neural canal and long neural spine location at the chest region functions it aids attachment of the ribs and also assist in breathing. Lumbar vertebra functions is based the weight of the body and it also provides attachment for the abdominal muscles. Sacral vertebra presence of narrow neural canal and reduced neural spine. Functions it provides support, rigidity, and strength to the body. Called a vertebra. It consists of solid mass of bones. Functions. It supports the tail and provides attachment for tail. 
ribs. The rib cage protects delicate organs such as lung and heart. Sternums, the ribs are connected to the sternum. Features of a typical vertebra. A typical vertebra possesses the following features. Neural canal, neural spine, transverse processes, centrum, facet, and zagapophysis. We will go on break now and we'll be back shortly. Welcome back. A pedicular skeleton. It consists of limbs, that is four hind and limbs, and girdles, that is pectoral and pelvic girdles. Presence of the glenoid cavity of the scapula, which is a depression into which the head of the humerus fits to form shoulder joints. Take note of the acetabulum, which is a deep cavity into which the head of the femur fits to form hip joints, while the obturator foramen is a hole on the pelvic girdle through which the nerves, blood vessels, and muscles pass. Now let us discuss the biological significance of functions of skeleton. The functions of skeleton in man include it gives support to the body, example the backbone and the pelvic girdle. It gives protection, example rib cage and the skull. It aids movement, production of blood cells, aids breathing, it gives shape, attachment of muscles, it helps to store important mineral salts such as calcium and phosphorus. Now let us look at why past questions. Question one. List four functions of the mammalian skeleton and name a particular part of the skeleton which performs each of these functions. Answer. Functions of the mammalian skeleton on one part, parts of the skeleton on another part. For functions of the mammalian skeleton, we have support, Part of skeleton, pelvic girdle, backbone, vertebra column. Functions, protection. Part of skeleton, skull, protects the brain. Rib cage, protects lungs, heart. Vertebra column, protects the spinal cord. Pelvic girdle, protects female reproductive organs. Functions of mammalian skeleton, movement, part of skeleton, fore and hind limbs. Functions, aids in breathing, part of skeleton, ribs, thoracic vertebra. Functions, it gives shape, part of skeleton, axial skeleton and vertebra column. Functions, production of blood, cells, part of skeleton, bone marrow of long bone. Function, muscles attachment, part of skeleton can be any bone, such as lumbar, thoracic vertebra. Another question, name one vitamin and one mineral element necessary for early development of bones. Answer, vitamin C, vitamin D. You can take any one. Mineral elements, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium. You can pick any one. Evaluation. One, what is 
skeleton. Question 2. What are the three forms of skeletal materials? 3. Describe the types of skeleton and give examples of organisms that possess each one. 4. State four differences between bone and cartilage. And lastly, discuss the significance of skeleton to animals. Summary. In today's lesson, we learned about definition of skeleton, forms of skeletal materials, types of skeleton, bones of mammalian skeleton, and biological significance of skeleton. References for further studies www.clevenotes.com, www.britannica.com, www.ciavola.com.science. With this, we have come to the end of the lesson. Thanks for listening. Bye.